Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda HD on the Wii U. I'm Rabbit Luigi and we'll, uh, what did we do last episode? Well last episode we got to Dragon Roost Island, we played around with some seagulls, we got some money, we delivered some messages to Prince Kamali who's like a big dickhead, um, and in this episode we're going to be ascending uh, Dragon, Roost, Dragon Roost Island, Dragon Roost Cavern, in the hope that we can sort out whatever's going on with the Great Valu, the big dragon dinosaur doohickey uh, and we can help Kamali be a man okay this is our this is his journey to manhood not our journey to manhood this is a this is a very valiant story of a of a chicken chicken bird chicken bird thing who wants to be a man it's like chicken little but <laughs> it's like chicken little okay it's like chicken this whole game is based around Kamali okay anyway let's go Let's go into our first dungeon. This is our first dungeon. Look at these Bogoblins. They're just going to get some serious smackdown right here. Look at this smackdown I'm taking on. Come on, get back up, you piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Hello. Bye-bye. Give me a joy pendant. We do need joy pendants. Uh, not soon. I wouldn't really call it soon. But we do need joy point, joy, joy pendants. Joy pendants at some point in the whole, whole game. Let's play. Whatever you want to call it. Where did those things go? I need a... Where did the... I need a... I need a weapon! I, oh, <laughs> they're still on fire. Of course they are. Um, yeah, we need joy pendants at some... Just went out. We need some joy pendants at some point. But uh, not for a long time. Not for a little while. Oh, I keep sneezing! I'd never sneeze when I'm recording a, anything. I don't, even, I don't even sneeze when I'm recording like a... Thingies for a countdown. It's really weird. I, why am I sneezing? I haven't even got cold. It's not even cold anymore. I've like shut some windows and stuff. It's quite nice. Where's my? Oh, that was the key. Uh, that was the key I needed. I don't. Yeah, we don't need to go through there. I'm just trying to remember bits and pieces. I know this dungeon quite well. I've been through this dungeon so many times and done so many things that frankly, it's a bit. It's a little bit embarrassing. I can tell you that there's five rupees. Uh, buy some skulls once this little snazzy cutscene. Look at the size of this place. Look at the look. Just okay. I'm gonna go for like a mark against the hate the pretty meter. But have a look at this place. Wait until the lava comes up. Check that out. Look at that. Doesn't it look so fucking pretty? There's five rupees here. Told you. Um, I remember. I think it was Tingle. I think it was Tingle in the Tingle Tuner. Actually said in the GameCube version that like I don't know. He'd like the the guy whose skull that belongs to kept the money aside for some reason not entirely sure what reason but he kept the money aside and kept it underneath his skull I don't know, it's a little bit morbid you know for a Zelda game, you know Zelda games can do morbid they can do morbid very well that was quite look at him go on the other <laughs> off screen, I die off screen I thought that was probably a bad idea but you know it kind of worked. <laughs> More five rupees. Yeah, look at that. Good old Tingle Tuner. I think also the Tingle Tuner. Uh, you know, the Tingle Tuner is a really good item in the GameCube version. Really, really good. If you had the Game Game Boy Advance and the connector. But um, yeah, I think the Tingle Tuner said in the previous room, uh, not really room, but half a room, where there was like a, a, a gate we had to smash our way through. That there was a fairy there somewhere. And we'll find some fairies later on. Fairies are fantastic. Little funny mechanic here. You can throw water, water jugs, water pots onto lava. And they will turn into platforms. Allowing you to uh, traverse the vicious and horrible, horrible places. The lava. Lava is hot. Lava is hot. I've got a dungeon map. This place is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. First floor. Fucking just. First floor. Is actually quite big. Second floor, smaller. Third floor, no. Nah. Fourth floor, tiny. Fantastic. Oh, oh, and a little sort of internal burp there. Whoa, that didn't work. Hello to a choo choo. Choo choos in this game are, for all intents and purposes, son of a bitch, a one hit kill. Because uh, then don't they don't put up they don't put up much of a fight. I'm I'm just semi conscious. Of running out of health because of course this is an area this is a place that has things that want to kill you and things that want to kill you aren't all well they're not actually in this game gonna drop any hearts for you so that's a bad thing 
because I'm doing hero mode. I mentioned this previously. I did hero mode, and you can see why links in links. Well, his posture, if anything, that he's feeling it a little bit. He's starting to feel a bit fatigued, a little bit under the weather. Get your fucking choo choos out of my face. You, I need you to give me. Uh, there we go. Choo choo jelly has not much use other than selling it and for collecting enough of it and giving it to a guy on Windfall Island. Can I swing it? Thank you. Um, at the moment, I think we need... Uh, it's, it's at least about 20, I'd say, before we go back to Windfall Island and say, Hey! We have enough choo-choo jelly to get a red potion. And I think the sooner we get that, the better, because there's more, imp there's more uh, emphasis on potions and trying not to die with uh, hero mode. I mean, I've already lost half my life already. Which could be quite tragic. If I die in this... I mean, like, this is like the simplest, easiest dungeon ever in the history of ever. So, I don't want to die in this dungeon. I might die in other ones, which could be fun. Um, like, the, the one of the later dungeons... I was going to say it there. One of the later dungeons in the game may give me trouble because I do tend to take a lot of damage in there. The boss in that uh, dungeon does a lot of damage. The thing I'm very fascinated by is in this game there are bosses that do two hearts of damage to you per hit, basically. And I want to see with Heroes mode what that looks like. Like four hearts of damage just gone like that. Just boom, four hearts of damage. If I was to face them with three hearts, I'd be killed in one shot. So it's kind of a, a morbid curiosity to see just how quickly and how ridiculous four hearts of damage being lost just like that looks like so we'll get to that later frankly you don't need to get to it yet but uh that's cool that's cool let's go outside i do like dungeons with an outside element to them which might be why i like this dungeon this dungeon is very easy and very simple don't want to take damage don't take unnecessary damage this dungeon is very simple and very easy minus the enemies that now do double damage um but I like the kind of layout and the concept, you know, you are climbing up a big mountain volcano thing. And that's pretty cool, rather than just like a big hole in the ground, which you've got to go into. I want to kill the, kill the chicken, kill the chicken, did I kill the chicken? Bye spoils. They, they are also uh, another spoils, you know, the spoils bag suddenly comes into its own as a useful item. Who would have thunk it? Uh, the the feather thing we get from those birds, they are Helmorocks, I think. Um, the Helmorock King is the big bird, the big triple-breasted bird, which th flung us into the ocean. Um, the Helmorock birds, basically, uh, give you a feather, which has one use, really, other than selling it. You can always sell spoils in this game. Somet sometimes you want to sell them, sometimes you really shouldn't sell them. There's, I think there's one you absolutely, under no circumstances, should sell. Um, whoa, that was close. <laughs> I nearly fell off in, in the cutscene, which was quite frightening. Um, but the feathers, the Helmrock feathers, the Helmrock, whatever, whatever they're called, um, you can um, give them to someone they're quite sought after in the Rito race. The Rito race, yeah. Um, and you'll get a heart piece from them. But other than that, they haven't got a, any real use at all, to be honest. You know? No real use. There's a little secret back here. If I can just drop down. You don't want to like do anything too grand because the uh, block above will fall down and kill you and crush you and sad because you know you don't want to get crushed in this game. It's a very bad thing. Okay, don't get crushed. Very bad thing. Um, you can get some rupees. You know, I, 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 just a little thing. A little bit of rupees. I need the money, guys. You know, otherwise. Ganon's gonna break my legs. You know, he's he's he's, he's a taxed taxed. Tax collector now. Oh, it's Fee. Hi, Fee. Well, hi, Fee. You got a deep voice, Fee. Jesus. Filthy thieving rats. Yes. Not the rats. Yeah, you can use the bait. The bait you can buy from the st uh, Beetle's store, Beetle's shop thing. Um, you can spray. Spray. You can let down uh, just outside the rat holes, the rats. The rats. The rat mouse holes. The, what are they called? They are called. They are. Are they literally called ma- I think they're just called mouse holes, but that sounds a bit- I can't remember. I'm gonna find- I'm gonna- There'll be a thing on the screen telling me what exactly this is- what it is, and I don't know. Fuck it, if I know, we just need to throw- Throw it over there! 
It didn't work. Get the friggin' rat, rat, rat. Okay. The rat will steal money. The rat will steal money off you. Uh, it'll also do damage, rather annoyingly, which is why I'm kind of, kind of on the edge. Because it's like up and behind me somewhere. That's what I wanted to do first time. Throw it at the doohickey. Get this friggin' rat! Oh, it's gonna annoy me. That rat's gonna be the death of me. Probably not the death of him, that's an annoying thing. All of that, all that stress for just a key. You know, I know keys are important in this game. But still. It's a, it's a mental threat. He's dead. And if he doesn't fight me, I won't fight him. That's my, that's my one rule. The one rule to rule them all. The one rule to ring them all. There we go. I want to see if I can coax this guy into giving me a feather. Hello. I'm here to steal your babies. I am the, the, the egg snatcher. Ha, ha, ha. I want you to go this way. I'm going to kill you. Oh, I don't want to get hit. I want to stab you. I But they die. No. What happened there? Did I just die? Was that a whole heart of... Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, we, we do need to attack the guy, though, because we need to get something off him. I might die. <laughs> suppose if I die, I know I can get back here quick. There we go. There's a small key. I want to get out of here very quickly. Heroes mode. How does it work? Get out of here. Got to go through the rest of the dungeon now without taking damage. Or at least until I can get that fairy. I know where the fairy is. I think there's only one. Can't remember. This could be interesting. Get the fuck out of here! I'm low on health! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! That worked. Just be angry with it. Show anger and contempt to the bats in the game. Because they no, they'll show no compassion to you. They will show no care. They, have, they show no care. I don't need to kill the bats. I've killed all the bats. Get the treasure chest. This is a joy pendant. Oh, it's a joy pendant. Oh, yeah. I should do that in the game. I should predict um, what the chests are going to be. Because I know a ton about this game, guys. I know more than you think I do. I'm not, I know more than I think I do. Not entirely sure how that works. But I know a ton about this game. Don't blow me up. Look at him. He is, like, he is out of it. Look at him. Look at him. He is just trashed. Trashed and... No. Bombs. Get on top of the rock. I need to, they are shortcuts, okay? These are like the, um, the friggin' cauldrons in Banjo-Kazooie. Those things. Where you can take shortcuts up to places. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. It wasn't that hard, okay? Motherfucker. I, I, there may be a death counter. I'm just thinking, there may be a death counter for this game. I won't make one, but there, I may die in this game. I never die in this game. Honestly, I never do. So, um, there's something to think about. I do like this room. This room is quite a lot of fun. There are enemies in this room somewhere. Can you find them all? That was one. Gave me a joy pendant. Hallelujah. And there's another one here. Get out of here. I'm going to just like coax you in and then do a jump attack. And get rid of your ass. Get your punk ass out of here. I got no time for your punk ass attitude, man. Roll into, roll into the... There we go. There's another one here. Get the fuck out of here. How you doing? Yeah, bye. To get joy pendant, please. Oh, joy pendant. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. Um, something else I need to do quickly. This is why I like this room. There's a lot happening in this room. Um, get some joy pendants, get some vocal drinks. Also, can I pick the weapon up without running away? Hey, fantastic, wonderful. Cheery what's it? good, let's go. A lot of this um, Deku stick kind of puzzles. I'm glad there isn't a Deku stick in this game, because the Deku stick had a very limited use. And the weapons do kind of fulfill the use, to be honest. And it's also a weapon. I know the Deku stick was a weapon, but it broke very easily. So, it's an interesting mechanic. I'd say it's an improved mechanic. And it's a lot of fun. This is a treasure chart. The treasure chart, simply, you can go on the map screen uh, once you're out at sea. And you can open up a treasure chart, and you'll be able to um, um, look around for this treasure. It will be quite obvious. It's a big sort of glowing light of like a heavenly glowing glowing light, um, and you can use that and go find some treasure, uh, and then salvage it with the item you get in this dungeon. 
when we get there, because we're actually not very close. We are kind of close, but not like ridiculously close to getting it, okay? I've got to go through the whole dungeon now without taking damage. <clears throat> Clear that throat. I'm going to go through the whole dungeon now without taking damage as the platform slowly and ominously disappears. Let's throw it there. Oh, it pushed it out the way! Son of a bitch! What you know? I'm going to jump for it. Jump for it! Oh, Jesus. Jump for it quickly! Ah! <laughs> I miss fine lines, fine lines, frightening, absolutely frightening, okay? I take one hit, I die, basically, but that's good, because we are now somewhere where we can, it's an even better shortcut, okay? It's an even further up shortcut, okay? We can throw, we can run away, blow it up, and we've now got direct access to this room, and if you case you can't tell, over there is the boss. Only difference, only problem is uh, there's a big pool of lava in between us and the boss, which means you have to go this way, unfortunately. Ha <laughs> ha! Unfortunately! Ha! <laughs> it's a funny... Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> oh dear. Doing that voice, doing that sort of Smeagol voice, kind of, I wouldn't say ruins my voice, because many other things ruin my voice other than that. But it uh, doesn't help my voice. Let's go that one. It's Valu freaking out a bit. There's people nibbling at his tail, or doing something to his tail. I don't know what he's doing. There's stairs, friggin' scary stairs. Look how far that goes down. Don't even know where that is. But anyway, it's a little courtyard. Look at this courtyard area. I like that. It's kind of kind of neat. Neat's kind of an American term for good, isn't it? I'm gonna get your get your mini. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's all it took. That's all it took for me to die. I was hoping to go through that without dying. Oh well, I'll meet you back there. Okay. See, both the good thing and the bad thing about having three hearts, it's, it's quite difficult when you have three hearts because it's, it's kind of a case of, yes, it's early in the game, things are quite easy, not like really easy, but quite easy, but there's not that much room for leeway, not, not, not that much leeway, room for error, room for something. So you have to be quite careful, unfortunately. The stairs have magically come back. I don't want to run into them. I want to show a, def a better camera angle. There we go. Look at these stairs. Friggin scary stairs. Absolutely terrifying. Yes, we've done this cutscene before. Can we just get on with it? Thank you very much. Yes, let's go kick some butt with that awesome fo mo mini boss music. I love that music. It's fantastic. Oh my days. Sweet Daisy Peach Bay. I don't know. That's those ones down. But wait because we have something else to come. Look at this guy! We faced them in the Four Second Fortress. They had lanterns. Now he's got a big stick. And the big stick is rather frightening. He will immediately, almost immediately attack you if you come anywhere near him when he goes down. When he goes down, he'll come up immediately punch me, like so. It can be quite painful, especially that one. Doesn't matter though, because I've got skillets, okay? Yeah, betches. Oh yeah! Anyway. <laughs> this is another little spoil. The skull necklace, again, you can use it. To, you can sell it to someone for quite a bit of money. Quite a lot more than a beetle will give you. Uh, but it hasn't got that much use. Most of the spoils don't have that much use. There's always something to sell, I guess, but not a ton of use. Oh yeah. Look at that Valu. Valu's angry. He's pounding the ground in frustration because someone's nibbling at his broken tail. Oh yeah. Here jackass, use it to get out of here. So this is the um, the, the, the device we're going to be using not only throughout this dungeon, throughout the rest of this dungeon anyway, but also to um, do things with, to do, to do, to salvage things from the seafloor. It even says it on the screen. There we go. <laughs> what else do we use it for? Uh, we can also use it to get, to extract in some way, it sounds a bit dodgy to extract spoils from enemies which is pretty pretty neat pretty pretty cool in, in a way yeah i'd say so uh was that that was an r yeah i pressed that and it didn't do anything uh yeah hang on pro controller pro controller there was something that they improved in this game it's a very tiny thing but the whole animation for the grappling hook is just a tiny bit quicker it's just a bit sharper not sharper it's a little bit just quicker basically it's just a little bit quicker not a lot more I can say about that. 
I mean, the, the grappling... <laughs> I keep, I keep like, trying to use the Pro Controller like the gamepad and, like, flicking up, trying to, um, grapple onto something, trying to, trying to aim with the controller, with the actual controller itself. What can I say? I spend the game playing through on the gamepad, now I'm on the Pro Controller. Need to get used to that again, Jesus. Anyway, how are we doing, guys? It's like you're running up to quite late, so I'm, I may make this for last room I tackle, and then I shall um, move on to something else. Then I shall save the episode there, and then just keep doing spin attacks till the cows come home, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did I say? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make this for last room, uh, and then we'll do the rest of the, the, the cavern in the next episode, okay? You have to um, slash the bridge, which is slightly more precarious than I remember it being. Mainly because you can fall off very easily. You kind of need to. I don't want to go in the lava though. Absolutely do not want to go in the lava. There we go. Get a joy pendant. Da -da 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 -da. I told you! I told you! I know so much about this game, and you still don't believe me. But anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been a Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And in the next episode, we're going to continue and finish off Dragon Roost Cavern and take on the boss, which is giving Valu such a bad time with the tail. He's doing something. We've got to stop. We've got to stop him uh, with our grappling hook. It's pretty fancy. Ain't it nice? Woo! Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.